This district is rather a remnant of the Soviet past. This horseshoe was a triumphal arch under which Nicholas passed. Wait, I just stumbled into this secret military base. No freedom anymore. Welcome to my channel. In my new video, I will show you one more district of my hometown, Spas. I will walk with you along the street and tell you something interesting about it. And I will show you Lokaterka Hill. So let's go and see it. In this district, you can see a palace of culture with different activities for kids, monuments of Lenin, a cathedral, a lot of private houses, and a hill called Lakatarka. This hill is very important for me because I often went there as a child, and now I decided to go there again and to celebrate it in my video. Hello. Oi, <laughs> Unexpected dog drama. This area is called the village of Spaskoya, and this name is engraved on this horseshoe shaped stele. And Silo Spaskoya, this is like a separate village, but it's adjacent to the city. So, dogs. What are you doing here? Now let's go a little upper. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just stumbled to do this for a tree. Nice benches. I actually didn't know that they're here and I really like them. They're very comfortable. Wow, this area actually is very clean. I mean, except for this secret bus, but still it's very comfortable you can just sit here yeah i need to go here because i wanted to show you the city from this but i think it's too low can i go up here i don't know oh wow okay yeah parkour what sacrifice should i undertake for the content a lot of dogs what's going on i don't know so um from here you can see the city i mean spask so it's located like in the lowland in a valley surrounded by hills and that blue hills are actually Sikatea Ali mountains okay i think i need to now I'm going to show you the statue of Lenin. Of course, in every Russian town there is Lenin. Behind that monument there is a church. And from here you can see a really, really nice frame. If you look from some particular angle, it looks like the depiction of a Soviet attitude to religion. After my Spask video, I got a lot of comments like Oh, you in Russia still honor these bloody murderers like Lenin and Stalin. It's like if they had Hitler monuments in Germany. But here's the thing, we should differentiate Lenin and Stalin. We indeed have a lot of monuments, streets and squares in honor of Lenin, but this is rather a remnant of the Soviet past. Our town simply doesn't have the money to remove this monument and build, for example, a fountain in its place. These children, they barely know what Lenin did. Either do I, and to be honest, I'm not even interested in it. But it would be a delusion to say that we honor Stalin the same way, because in Russian cities there are almost no streets and squares named after him, because the memory of the gulags and deportations is too strong, and moreover, the cult of Stalin's personality began to be destroyed by the Soviet authorities themselves after his death. So Stalin is not very good. Lenin? Well, okay. So this is that cathedral. And here there is a poster about history of this village. On this poster you can see a map showing the route of the Russian Emperor Nicholas II, who was like the last Russian Emperor. He was the son of Alexander III. And uh, when Russia was building the Trans-Siberian Railway, Alexander III decided to send his son 
to like travel around Russia to see the world so on so Nicholas came here to Spask can you imagine this then I decided to go inside of the cathedral and ask if it's possible to film there but the same thing happened as in my video about Khabarovsk the woman said that I should get the priest's blessing in order to film inside. But anyway, this cathedral looks beautiful even from the outside. It was built here just 10 years ago. It's funny, here there's a grocery store called Svoboda Freedom with a Che Guevara picture on it. But it seems that the store is closed. It was open a year ago. Yeah, so... No freedom anymore. Some advertisement. It's like for rent in an apartment. And from here, again, you can see that view of the city. I mean, in real life, it looks nicer. It looks very, very beautiful. And now we are walking along Spaskaya Street, Ulitsa. And here is one more closed shop, it's called Gorka. Gorka is an unofficial name of this district. So Gorka in Russian is a slide, but also it has meaning of a hill. A hill in Russian is home, but actually here in the Far East we don't call hill a home. And I'll explain why. Even though Russian language is surprisingly the same, in every district we still have some like dialect words and sopka is one of them for example on kamchatka there is a klutchevskaya sopka so growing up in spask i never heard a word home we would always say sopka but don't think that here in the east we all are so wild and far because we have a piece of moscow here this street is called Moskovskaya. I once broke my arm there. Spaskoya village is a district with very interesting store names. So this one is called Vayash. Then I found a street called Nikolaevskaya in honor of the already mentioned Emperor Nicholas II. Can you imagine, 100 years ago, somewhere there on this street, there was a triumphal arch under which Nicholas passed. The arch has not survived, but a similar arch was recently restored in Vladivostok, where the Emperor also visited. So, in order to get to the hill, we need to go through all these quarters of private houses. And for clarity, I will show you how it looks on the map. Since we are on the higher ground, we can see the mountains from here. This is Sihate Alin, a mountain range that stretches from the Khabarovsk territory down to Vladivostok. From here, you can also see one of the so-called attractions of our city, an abandoned meal plant called Milkom. And on the right, we see our Lakatarka hill. Its name comes from the word Lakatar, locator, or more correctly, raider. So, these white domes are raider. I don't know precisely what they're supposed to do, but I know that it is something really secret because you are not allowed to approach these domes. I will tell you about it later in this video. And on our way to the hill, there is such a nice small creek. looks like a sundial Что? Спасибо. А, 7 часов. Где? Okay, 
понятно. Oh Some weird dude <coughs> just scared me. Is he following me? Oh, yeah. He's following me now. But I am faster. Oh no, no, he's gone. That man followed me for another whole block, but then he turned around and left. I felt embarrassed and I blamed myself for keeping up a conversation with him at all. I was afraid that he would follow me on my way to the hill. I don't know how to react in such situations. I mean, you have to show that you are like confident and uh, you better just stop talking to them and just say like play go the thing is that this place is relatively safe so as a child i would often go here with my friends and we were not afraid at all because i don't know we didn't care we were together and we wanted to find something abandoned to wander around some you know stalkerish places but now, probably because I became smarter and more aware, more anxious, I understand that in general, like walking alone in such areas is not safe. Oh, this is that church that we saw in the beginning of the video, you see? Somebody's building a house here. And one more frequent question that I get is why Russian people live in these Khrushchevka's buildings? Why they don't build houses? But yeah, indeed, we have so much land. But the thing is that it's still expensive. You need to buy all the materials like pipeline for water, gas and so on. I think this is the problem. That's actually a nice looking alley with these trees. Here's some wealthy people living here. Um, yeah, this district doesn't seem really fancy, but still, you can have a nice house right here. But I personally would never live in such a house here. I mean, here's one more interesting wall. And I remember when in my childhood, my friends and I were going to the Lakatarka Hill. We were drinking water from here. Now, I wouldn't be so brave to do this, but yeah, somehow we lived through the childhood. So I finally approached that beginning of the route to the hill and I'm a little bit scared. I mean, who else on earth would go to this remote place? on Thursday except of me so yeah there is nobody here from here again we can see the city view it will be even more beautiful there on the top of the hill kind of gives me slender game vibes the whole city now I'm going there Not gonna lie, by the top of the hill I was completely scared. Wait, don't you think that this music is too much? Let's play something merry. <laughs> well, I'd better stick to the genre. but I can show it to you because it's like a secret military base. You see this white thing 
now it <laughs> reminds me of slender even more so these are the locators that gave the name to the hill five years ago my friend and i tried to get into that base it was surrounded by the barbed wire fence so we climbed over it and thinking that mischief managed began to take pictures but after about 10 minutes a car arrived a man in a military uniform came out and said that we were not allowed to be there he told us to delete all the photos and then in order to somehow get us out of this base. He led us through the entire territory to the exit. It was funny because in this way he, on the contrary, showed us all the secret objects. They were mostly raiders and some kind of buildings. I don't know how this guard came so quickly. There must be motion sensors on the fence. Therefore, I will no longer venture to approach this base. Once we had a picnic here with a group of some Spask like volunteers. Let's sit on this bench. I was finally able to relax and enjoy the views of nature. I had a lot on my mind that day and one of the concerns was that in the morning I failed the driving test for which I came to Spask. My mistakes were very stupid. I began to start the car which was already started. And the week before I made another mistake when I forgot that you have to turn on the turn signals when you are driving back and to the side. It was the first time that I felt so annoyed about the exam. I was so ashamed in front of the instructors and the road policemen. Apart from this, I had some important decision to make. And after thinking well, I found the courage to do it. Eventually, I came to the conclusion that other people, in fact, don't think about my mistakes. Trying things and making mistakes is normal, it doesn't mean that I'm stupid, and on the contrary, it gives me more experience. They say that these outings help you to distract yourself. I felt that everything cleared up in my head. At the top of this hill, I left all my fears and worries. Here's the Gorka district, the city center, and uh, some Zavod. Oh, one more thing that is seen from here is this very weird church i will show it to you when i'll be going home and look at this cross it's red <laughs> yeah it's definitely not an orthodox church because an orthodox church has one more stick on the cross so i think it's like baptist church yeah guys thanks for watching till the end i hope you enjoyed this nice walk through the gorka district and this solo hike to the lakatarka hill it's somewhere there now and stay tuned for the next video bye пока пока